Hello, stakeholder viewers. Welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today, I'm reviewing Gotham Season 2, Episode 13, Azrael. At the beginning of this, uh, Doctor Strange, or Yugo, as you know, says, all that season with this, Marvel, is trying to calm down Tio, or just, uh, give him a well, not really a reason, but just uh, a purpose in, in his life since he came back. And uh, then Gordon goes into his office and talks to him, saying that he has a client that thinks he's involved with the Wayne murders. And the comments we know too is great. It's like a uh, it isn't exactly like an interrogation, but it seems a little bit like when the app. Uh, yeah, you go to Sam Gordon that uh, the past year he became a hero cop and then lost all when the, the Edward was framed for murder or the way he killed Galaman for work. And the same. Some or stuff like that into here, but whatever. And back in Wayne Manor, Bruce, Bruce is just a portrayed that that other do anything about Hugo, but they got no proof or anything. You know, they know that he was part of that. The reason that his parents were killed. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, uh, before as uh, Gordon left and talked with Edward, and he is a crazier. Like, he two that uh, inmates were going to fight, but one of them said that like, he didn't say anything to me, the other guy's angry. And Edward just goes along with the guy's uh, mental like, handicap or whatever. It's just weird. <laughs> Well, it's got them. All the episodes are just crazy. The characters are crazy. Ugh. And then uh, everyone gets that uh, you got an idea of what kind of backstory he's a kid. So, you know, I just give him the backstory of uh, one of the people in the Saint Dumas, maybe uh, Adriel. And it says on him some stuff on a screen. I think he just, like, uh, Tio is just laughing about the violence and that. I think he just wasn't it. I want to know about crazy. Penguin is talking to the dead corpse of his uh, stepmother. Wow. Anyway, uh, He, um, uh, Gordon just said off to the Brian trying to tell him what he knows about, uh, Hugo, but he's really listening to it. It's just too crazy, even for Gotham, but when Azrael turns up, it just gets crazier. And in order to protect Gordon, he just tries to uh, put him in a, in a cell, like in below that, no one of that cell that's inside. The precinct, precinct, I think that's what it's called. in the middle room, one of those things. And dead Gordon did, and, uh, he did really think he did uh, break the law, even if it's doing some bad and, or some, some like that. And I like that, uh, Barnes is trying to, Get Gordon to realize the porn of the law, like yeah, like Gordon is or did try with Ruth in the earlier scene. That's all like the 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 we both think of the other as a son or whatever. And there's a funny line where I where uh, Baron says that Gordon is dreaming about that being a. Of the 
play for. Which we all know he is going to be in charge of the police force. Whatever. And uh, when they're in the, the police station, the lights just go out and Tio turns up. And uh, he just tries to talk to Frank and Jim go and he's the roof and there's a lot of firing and with the, and then, uh, as I was just stabbing people with sword, and the fight between him and the uh, Barnes is just good, and it's not safe from Barnes and Gordon when they see that it was uh, Tio, and the math is just great. Uh, back in Arkham, Edward used to say a gathering can stop up to see what. And uh, Hugo is hiding in the building and you get getting get help from the other inmates that get stuff. And one of them likes to lick stuff. At one point he licks Edward and Nick and another scene he licks a fly swatter. How many of the songs are weird? And with Hugo he just has uh, friends they get some uh, ideas of, a, of what other, uh, what, like, what to do with the other uh, people that are in cryogenic sleep, as they might, might say. And I, I read out of the Waterland book. It's just, oh, it's just funny. Oh, yeah, and it didn't mention that, uh, Dio uh, was mad at the heart or being that dog. It's just weird. And uh, then there's some scenes that everybody finds out that Tio is alive. And uh, with Bra Barbara having it, I'm just but a bit worried since he's kind of scared of Barbara. He, he was crazy. And when she turns up behind him with a knife in her hand, that's a cement story they had for her, had her, but whatever. And when Penguin sees Tio, you just see the crazy going up on his head. I just turn and say, well, whatever. And he does end with Tio as somewhere in, or somewhere in Oakland, Gotham, I don't know exactly where he is. I think he's on some phone line or something. And just going off somewhere. There's have to be one of the craziest Episodes of Gotham there ever was. Like I know some other episodes are crazy, but this, this is just a new level. Like you are trying to make somebody into some somebody else. It's just crazy. And Alfred put it back. You know, like when he said. What's happening for city and the Bruce saying no good. Yeah, it's obviously no good it's happening in freaking Gotham City when the dead are coming back to life. Ugh. Anyway, I do that episode at ten out of ten. And next week's episode is uh continuing from this with the uh, after all fine final sword. And Jim trying to get some information from Tabitha of where uh, Tio may be. And uh, I think Bruce will be going out after him because uh, Albert just said uh, trying to stop him going outside or something. And uh, Penguin will probably go after him as well, so it'll be good. Oh yeah, and somebody died here, but I want to say, well, I want to say who it is, so like, spot they get. Or if we're able to see it, it will be a bit shocking, but hi. And some more people will come back in the next episode, so I'll wait. Until then, I'm a two. I'll see you later.